of right. As we mentioned, Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy are tasked with cutting down unnecessary government spending. And it looks like there's no shortage of areas to cut from. Joining us now is John Hart, CEO of Open the Books, a leading transparency organization. When it comes to government spending, John, we're glad to have you because right now everyone wants to know what are the ideas? What's the low hanging fruit? Where can these guys get started? I think you've got some ideas. Yeah, we sure do. Look, we've been at this for a long time at Open the Books. Uh, and you're right, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit. You can start, you can get to $200, $300 billion pretty quickly by going after things like improper payments, Medicare, Medicaid fraud, duplication in the federal government, ending the ridiculous use it or lose it spending rules. And then you have all the silly and, and goofy ideological spending that we've identified on things like DEI, putting cats on treadmills, uh, doing transgender studies on monkeys. And that, that adds up pretty quickly. But as you've pointed out in some of your other segments, this is a really important point is there's a huge cultural disconnect between Silicon Valley and Washington. And I've consulted with Silicon Valley companies. I, mm -hmm. I know how some of the, the, the entrepreneurs think. And they're going to find new buckets. They're going to look at what we've done, what other organizations have done. And then they're going to look at things like how do we automate the workforce mm. with, with with AI mm. and workforce automation. You know, AI is to is to white collar work what tractors were to farming, you know, 50 years ago. So there's going to be a huge transformation. And when Vivek talks about reducing the size of the workforce by 75 percent, that's not extreme at all. What's extreme is to say that we can keep doing things like we've always been doing them. Mm. OK. And run up the deficit and have interest payments be more than what we spend on national defense. That's the that's the extreme draconian approach. I think that's a, a good point that you make. And you bring up Vivek Ramaswamy. We're talking about this new agency of government efficiency, how they're going to run it, what exactly they're going to do. Senator John Thune was on special report. Let's listen to him for a second. Well, I think this is this is long overdue, honestly, and frankly, I'm excited. I think there's a you know there's a real opportunity here. Some of which can be done through the president's executive actions. I think people in this country are ready. They are hungry for a leaner, more effective, more efficient federal government that distributes power out of Washington, gets the control out of here, and and back in the hands of the American people. John, it all sounds great, but some taxpayers are skeptical, and you say they have a right to be. Yeah, well, they have a right to be skeptical, but there's also real reason for hope. You know, back in, in during the Reagan years, the Grace Commission yep. found that one out of every three tax dollars was wasted. So when Elon Musk estimates there's two trillion in the budget that could be saved, that's right on target. And I was a part of the Simpson Bowles Debt Commission. My hmm. my late boss, Senator Tom Coburn, was a legendary fiscal conservative. Mm -hmm. And he was able to get rid of earmarks. He went after the bridge to nowhere, tons of wasteful spending. We had an earmark ban that held for a decade. But even more importantly, he helped bring about the first year to year spending reduction mm -hmm. in 2012, 2013, since the end of the Korean War. Mm -hmm. And Coburn didn't have Elon Musk in his corner. He was fighting sure. against his own party administrations on both sides. So if someone like a Tom Coburn can be effective, imagine how much more effective John Thune and, and Mike Johnson can be. When right. you have President Trump, you've got the Vikram Swami and Elon Musk in your corner. How much more so effective I'm very can you? Can get yeah. How much more effective can you be as well in this age of social media? Elon Musk is saying that they're going to be holding weekly doge casts, doge streams to live stream weekly, literally what they are doing. How much more pressure and effective does that make them? It's going to make it so we would have loved to have had that at our back back in 15 years ago. And look, this is going to take the bully pulpit and turn it up to 11. So this is going to be the bully pulpit like we've never seen it in American history. So I'm very optimistic. And I think this crowdsourcing approach is brilliant because it's it's showing that, you know, every dollar saved in Washington is a dream realized somewhere in America. This is a bottom up uh, revolution. Right. This is this is about rebooting and restoring the founders vision for liberty and limited government. And I think they're going to be successful. And social media is going to be a big part of that. Turn it up to 11, maybe even 12. I love the movie reference. John Hart. Great stuff. Good to see you. Thank you so much.